Welcome back guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to use XCSS version 2 upscaler FSR 3.1.4 frame generation and anti lag 2 in GTA 5 enhanced edition. This guide is specifically for PCs with AMD GPUs. I'll be testing the game on my raw Gala that comes with Windows 11 and Radeon 780M GPU, RDNA 3 base architecture. Anti lag 2 is compatible with RDNA 1 base and newer GPUs. For achieving all of this, I'll be using OptiScaler mod and Fake Micos Fake NV API. The game received a big update 3 weeks ago that added support for DLSS 4 and FSR 4. DLSS is exclusive to RTX GPUs and FSR 4 is exclusive to RDNA 4 based GPUs. So nothing to do with ROG LM, but I think that update fixed the hot flickering that used to occur when we enable OptiScaler FSR frame generation in this game. We'll be using the latest nightly build of OptiScaler mod, can be downloaded for free from OptiScaler Skater. I'll give its link in the description. Scroll down until you find the asset section. I'll be using this build, version 0.7.7 preview 12, 2025-0707, click on a .7z link here. Just wanted to highlight one very important feature of this new OptiScaler build. Now we don't need to create this stuff file nvngx.dll on PCs with AMD or Intel based GPUs. This file was required for spoofing GeForce GPU so that we could get access to the in-game DLSS setting, not required anymore. This new build can spoof Streamline Framework to get access to the in-game DLSS settings. It even includes improvements to Streamline spoofing. This nbngx.dll file was basically a copy of DLSS Subscalers DLL file that is nbngx underscore DLSS. We changed its name to nbngx then placed it right next to the game's main exe file. I won't be doing this step on my raw ally. I'll be using fake Mikau's fake NV API to replace the in-game reflex implementation with AMD anti lag 2 version 1.3.3 of fake NV API. Download from GitHub, I'll give its link in the description, expand the asset section, click on the dot zip link here. Do not use these mods with the game's online mode, they come with a big risk of getting your account banned. I'll be disabling the game's battle like anti-cheat implementation and just open Rockstar Games Launcher. It opened up and just go to settings. From here uncheck the setting battle like. Now I'll be installing the mod, open the mods archive file. And just copy the highlighted files, four of them. Need to paste them in the games install directory. Select the game in your Steam library, right click, manage, click on browse local files and this is the games install directory paste everything here replace just change the name of optiscaler.tll file to dxgi.tll open optiscaler.ini file and just set dx12 upscaler to xcss set fg type to optfg Scroll down until you find NV API section. There it is. From here, just set override NV API DLL to true. Scroll down until you find the init flag section. And just set auto exposure setting to true. Click on file, click on save, close. Now I'll be installing fake because fake NV API. Open its archive file. Copy the two files present inside this archive file. Paste them in the games install directory right next to the game's main exe file. Here we install OptiScaler mod. That's it, the mods have been installed. Adrenaline settings for the game. I've enabled FreeSync and vSync from here. That's it. I've set the UMA buffer size to 6GB. My is running on BIOS version 3.4.2. Install Alice's latest official GPU driver that added support for Doom the Dark Ages using a 25 watts manual profile on 3 power value set at 25 watts. CPU boost disabled 900p resolution. Connected my FlyDG Vader 4 Pro controller to Ally via Bluetooth mode. X input controller. Launch the game. In game settings, name of the GPU RTX 4090. Yeah, the mod is working. Display mode, waterless full screen, 900p resolution. No FPS cap applied, VSync off, NVIDIA reflex enabled. Mod will replace it with anti lag 2. I've set everything to high. Okay, preset changed automatically. Set the upscaler to DLSS using its quality preset. Nesotropic filtering set to 16 times. Everything set to high. Would have to restart the game. Apply the settings. 
long shadows enabled post effects just set it to normal post processing effects cause ugly ghosting around a fast moving vehicles bumper i'll set the sliders to 50% for population density variety and distance scaling extended distance scaling set to 50% as well apply we are in open optics scale and menu by pressing the insert keyboard key i'll increase its size click on the drop down bar next to menu ui scale value set to 1.1 from this drop down bar you can change the upscaler set it to xcss version 2.0.1 if for some reason you want to use fsr 3.1.4 upscaler select this value fsr 3.x click on change upscaler check its where but you find check its version here i'll go back to xcss input yeah dlss spoofing is on auto explorer setting is on frame generation disable for the time being click on save ini in this franklin i'll just enable anti lag tools latency monitor press its hotkey combo alt shift and l cycle through the different display options stick with this one standing right outside franklin's house here fps is close to 70 latency value it's close to 38 milliseconds i'll just disable anti lag too by pressing and holding the right control keyboard key keep an eye on the latency value it should increase there you go increase by around 10 milliseconds so everything is working very nicely and this is xcs <laughs> bang you find xcss version 2 of scaler check out the image quality so clean not observing any artifacts around franklin's character model the power lines they're not looking aliased okay let's just enable fsr frame generation open opti scaler menu check the setting fg active check the setting fg hotfix set the limit value to 1 do not enable fg extended setting check this setting fg allow icing i just show you the deeper view verify that fsr frame generation is working properly back to the game yeah no hard elements are visible in the bottom middle image this image is also not flickering now used to happen in the older versions of the game the color palette is exactly the same for the bottom middle and bottom right images so fsr smoothing effect should work properly displays are working properly for all of the images depth resources this occlusion mask motion vectors and disable the debug view save and close resume the game your fps increased to around 100 oh my god look at that buttery smooth animation fsr frame generation is working very nicely latency value increased to around 53 55 milliseconds nothing extreme check out the real world input delay with my gun also the pointer yeah latency is not an issue okay i'll be driving my car now around the city just observe the vehicles bumper at high speed some ghosting will be produced around it yeah i can see the ghosting effect the thing is this ghosting effect is present even without fsr frame generation frame generation just makes it more aggressive more noticeable see fps while driving around is close to 100 this is amazing games hard is not flickering moving the camera away from the vehicle will make this ghosting effect less noticeable i'll just change the camera perspective see up to you you can even play the game in first person mode yeah the cockpit view inside the car can't also the artifact now 100 fps check out the input response just observe the left stick and the steering wheel in sync so very good results produced by artist killer mod in this game just make sure vehicle bumper is not close to the bottom edge otherwise very ugly ghosting will be 
reduce see in this camera perspective is fine okay I'll start shooting people now take out my gun VRAM usage close to 5.5 GB oh my god they ran over me in the trucks I just wanted to gain a wanted level it's very good performance on wrong LA FPS stays close to 100 for the most part I really hope the developers will add official FSR frame generation support to this game because we cannot use the mod FSR frame generation in the game's online mode due to the risk of getting banned so that's it for the video guys i hope you find it useful thanks for watching and have a nice day